So I talked about it a little before, roughly last week, where I talked about the fact that Hytale's media presence, social presence, all of that needs to be really strong. And involving that would be including the creators. Including the creators in stuff like events. This charity stream was the first sign that I was waiting for and boy did it deliver. Not only did Noxy come on to the voice chat roughly right here. You can see Noxy in the voice chat. Not only did he come on the voice chat, donations were made. See, top donation. And overall just support from the developers were made for this charity event. Okay, music's a bit too loud for me. Hold on, one second. If Hytale supports those people creating content because they love the game and are able to get it out to a wider audience, it's a win-win. Not only are the creators making a living off of what they love doing the most, but Hytale's also getting the exposure that it deserves. So what's going to need to happen in the future? We've seen the Hytale Christmas stream. I'll get onto that a little bit more at the end and why I think this was the most successful event we've ever done. Let's see what I said one week ago before the event. Flashback. Pretty much everyone here is important. Because having a small community, but a small positive community, is what keeps the devs also motivated. You have to think about it from a developer point of view. If you are working on a game, 57, 57 million people have seen your trailer, and one year has passed, two years has passed, two years, we're at, we're at the point we are right now. If the community for Hytale doesn't exist, like, like, the small community that we are. Imagine the the drive for the developers. While wow, we're making a game, we're putting out these blog posts, but no one really cares because it's been two years. No. The fact that people care, but it's a small community, shows that the people who really care about the game are gonna stick there. And they're gonna they're gonna like the game, they're gonna enjoy the content. And they're gonna push on the devs to make the best game possible and not force a release date. The next day. How often do you see videos made by us? A couple hours of content a week. We have a dedicated Slack channel that shows community response, community videos. Um, there's a anytime a fan art comes up there, it's it's fed right into Slack channel. The whole company's in there watching. Aww. It's, oh it's things like um, fan That's art, so fan content are literally the fuel. Cause you know we've been in dev for you know three four years. It can get a little tough sometimes. Um, not to not to be too blue or anything like that, but the thing that gets us through all that is the fan responses and it is the um, it is the community fan art and things like that. Devs, teams, and servers will all grow together, bouncing ideas off one another, competing healthily, and working with YouTubers to promote fun activities. At some point down the line, that's another thing: is the developers are really really integrated with the community, at least the pre-game community. I think Budokat's doing an incredible job of staying up to date with the community and someone like him is really important to have because it makes sure that the creators for the game the ones that are basically pushing the content and giving free advertisement for the game are being compensated for and being talked to mutualism would probably be the best way to describe it because content creators are probably one of the biggest things to keep a game from dying and if the devs make sure that the common content creators have enough content, not only to stream, to make videos about, um, but also that they, they create events. Something that at least Twitch does, Twitch rivals, that's huge. If, if Hytale puts on like, yeah, even community ran tournaments, like it doesn't even have to be Hytale saying, yo, we're doing a tournament or we're doing like an event. Um, it can even be community ran events such as right here such as this things like this are going to happen once the game releases and if Hytale supports this if they push this I think that'd be huge like in the launcher they they give a link to this being like yo these community members are doing a charity event go support them I think something like that would be incredible if the Hytale devs actually did do that so I think the support from from the devs and recognizing creators is going to be very important on whether or not at least the social side 
of Hytale stays alive. And and I'll go on to the events thing. Hytale itself can even throw community events and content creator events. They just invite like some of the, the most loved content creators, such as the people on this list, and make a giant event in it. If Hytale said like, yo, we're doing an annual Christmas stream, and these content creators are going to be in this event, say, I don't know, it's going to be like mini games. It's just going to be a mini games tournament uh, of the official supported mini games of the Hytale official server. So like Sky Wars, Bed Wars, I, I could assume Walls would be in it, something like that, hide and seek, all of that stuff. All your favorite content creators in a tournament, you have like casters and stuff like that, community advisors, all on the official, say, Twitch and YouTube channel for Hytale. Something like that would also be incredible because it gets it's people to view it not only because they like Hytale so the people who like Hytale see it say in the launcher because it gets advertised obviously so the people who just play the game will be able to watch it as well as the people who are fans of those people so everyone who's a fan of Quiba Corner, 30 Virus, all those people are also going to be watching the stream because their favorite content creators in it and they want them to watch it and if they say like yo you can stream it even more people would watch it. So not only would the, the official Hytale Twitch and YouTube channel get the views, but 30 Virus on his YouTube get the views. I assume Canadian Flash would also be one of the people that would stream it, for example. I think this is something that I hope, I'm hoping Hytale will be able to do when it comes out, is making sure that content creators are cared for um, and are given the recognition that they deserve for, you know, spreading the reach of Hytale. End of flashback. So basically what I said in the previous stream was that I think that Hytale really needs to push for content creators um, to get recognition. So if they're pulling like an event and uh, the event would get notified, uh, like they, they would shout it out maybe on their Twitter, even on the launcher. Like if, if they're doing like a special event, maybe um, a Christmas event is happening like 2022, three, I don't know, in the, in the near future. They're doing like a Christmas event and they're doing like some Twitch drops. I think that'd be a really great way to engage the creators. So everyone streaming on Twitch, they have a select list of creators or even every creator. Every creator can get drops and they have a list of creators that are going to be advertised, say, on this launcher. So let's say it's like 24 days of Christmas. First day of Christmas, one creator is going to be spotlighted on the Hytale launcher um for people to go there to get their drops um on the second day and so on different creators so 24 different creators say for 24 days of hightail christmas or what, whatever it's going to be called and obviously this isn't a real event this is just a hypothetical of how they would do it and how they would push the creators putting stuff on their launchers so if there were a community event such as a tournament like a hightail tournament Let's, let's stay on the more creator side and less of the pro because obviously pro stuff, I don't know what's going to happen with that. Maybe like some official tournaments obviously would be supported uh, if it's like their official bed wars and they do like a, a tournament for that, like the top ranked players or something. But if it's like a com community event of like your favorite Hytale uh, content creators, something like that should be on the launcher because it, it'll get eyes on the stream. It'll get the stream to have more views be larger in the space of say youtube or twitch doesn't matter where it's streamed have more eyes on it so more people can be like wow this is pulling a lot of views let's let's go check this out so not only is it create benefiting the creators that are actually pulling off the event hightail is benefiting because it's getting more reach out to the public and the reason why this would be effective is if a community event has everyone's favorite creators such as this, hey look, 30 Virus, that's my favorite YouTuber. Look, it's um, Canadian Flash. Look, it's Quebec Corner. That's my favorite creator. I want to go there. All of these communities now go hop onto one thing. So if it's like an official, uh, let's say Hytale actually did this. So instead of like the 24 days of Christmas, it would be a creator tournament of just a bunch of mini games, like officially supported mini games or like partnered servers that they would have and you put put like this group of like 20 30 creators in there stream it on the official hightail twitch or youtube doesn't matter where and put it on the launcher put it put it on twitter just get people to watch it people would watch it because they're cheering on their favorite creator yo 
I really want Chaos to win this. I really want Chaos from Highcast to win this entire tournament. Let me hop on the stream and cheer them on in the chat. Let me put some Pog Champs or I don't know what YouTube does. Let me do this and now the viewers are going up because not only are their favorite creators on there, they're watching their favorite game, they want them to win. It's all exciting. So all of that being integrated is great. And the reason why this stream, let me get onto the Hytale Thankmas um, stream. The reason why this is such a good outlook is because Noxie and the devs and um, what's his name, Budacat, all of them supported that directly. Noxie donated, was on the stream itself, tweeted. They all tweeted about it, etc. This is really good because they they recognize that the community is what's really pushing it. So this stream was basically confirmation that this dev team knows what they're doing. Hytale's on a really good track. The fact that they're like supporting this, obviously it's charity stream, but I don't think it would matter if it were charity. Obviously this is a great thing. It's awesome what Quebec Corner and everyone involved was doing, but just even normal events like tournaments or, or um, showcases and stuff like that, inviting creators on, something like that likely will be pushed seeing how the devs are reacting to something like this. This is probably the first creator event. I think this is I think this is the first creator event Hytale has ever seen. It's a great outlook right now that Hytale has going forward. The dev team is definitely the best dev team we could ask for. I think we have a great community. It's probably the one of the most positive communities in gaming right now. This game has such a bright future for it.